Hey, what's going on guys? Alex here with Jimmy, and we're bringing you back the, uh, what's, I guess, Freshwater Mondays. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to talk briefly about our, I guess, favorite uh, winter techniques, what to use, a uh, brief explanation on how to use it. Uh, Jimmy's going to do like some of the bass stuff, and yeah. I'll do a little bit of the pickerel stuff. And remember, this can apply for freshwater and tidal water here, yeah. since we do have both fish and fresh and tidal waters in this general area. So Jimmy, tell us a little bit about your favorite stuff here. Yeah, so most of the, my theme today is gonna be baits that I can work extremely slow, uh, especially bass. Pickerel are a little bit more active this time of year, but bass, honestly, don't really wanna move a whole lot. The water's cold, they are cold. So a lot of the baits I'm fishing, I can kind of sit in the strike zone, sit right in front of them and try and entice that strike. Something like a Ned Rig from Z-Man, just a classic finesse TRD. Uh, these are my favorite plastics. And then I like to use the EWG Ned Locks head. Uh, I've talked about this combo a couple times and I, we have some rigging videos on our website. Just a super classic combo and the EWG helps this time of year because you can kind of throw it into those lay downs and that nasty cover and not worry about getting snagged up. Um, another bait similar style, the way I'm gonna work it is gonna be the new Kitek jigs we got. Uh, this is the half ounce, the green pumpkin and chartreuse. And I have it paired up with a little spider. Uh, they just go together really, really well and they look awesome. The two ways I'm going to fish this, this is a football head, so these are kind of perfect for dragging along the bottom. I'm just going to literally just take my rod and just slowly drag it and then reel up my slack. You don't want to stop moving the jig, so as you, after you pull, as you're bringing your rod back to the jig, you kind of want to reel in a little bit and still have that jig moving a tiny bit. You don't want it to just stop and then pull and then stop. So kind of slowly moving along the bottom the whole time. But yeah, that's kind of the presentations I've been throwing is just slow moving, smaller scaled down stuff in the summer um, and just trying to really entice them to bite. Um, what areas would you throw, I guess, in general around here, like lakes, ponds, everywhere yeah. around? Yeah, honestly, these two are these two baits are baits I'll throw anywhere. Ponds, rivers, reservoirs, lakes, streams, anything. Um, they're extremely productive baits and the colors too. They're not very specific to anywhere. But yeah, I throw these baits honestly pretty much anywhere, especially gotcha. in the winter. All right, so I'm gonna to talk to you guys about my uh, kind of like winter techniques for pickerel. And this is gonna go pretty much when water gets really cold this time of the year, uh, February, it's that time of the month where you're usually gonna be finding a lot of ice out there and you only got like an afternoon to get out there when that light ice is kind of gone. Or even at times, depending on the year, you might even have full just ice, yeah. uh, you know, covered lakes and creeks and whatnot. So slowing down, it's one technique, but one concept that a lot of people forget is like, most people tell you to slow down, but with pickerel since they're so active, you can also just create a reaction strike. Yep. Uh, obviously, based on, based on the mood, based on the water, uh, water clear, clarity, temperature, etc. this is gonna be kind of like my go-tos. And the first one's gonna be a jerk bait. Uh, and you can work this a different, a couple different ways. You can make this a power, fishing lure meaning you're going to move it fast or you can also slow it down way way down meaning just like you know the name is a jerk bait you'll jerk it and then you'll actually stop it and when i say painfully slow you can let it sit there for a while yeah 10 15 seconds yes yeah so it's one of those things where you're going to be playing around with how slow and how much time you're going to give it and let that fish tell you like let them tell you what they want whenever you get the first fish get a mental note of how long it was sitting yep. and that kind of retrieve that you were, uh, you know, working in. Uh, any jerk bait will be great, especially suspending jerk baits this time of the year. Like I said, you can slow them down and you can work them fast. That's a good thing about those. Now, something different is gonna be rattle traps, um, chatter baits, et cetera. Like right here, we have one of these Rapala, uh, kind of like, uh, I guess, blade baits. Um, even blade baits. I yeah. mean, anything. Now, what we're talking about this is one of those things where you can actually like jig them. What I like to do personally is like I like to sit on a drop off, like identify the drop off, cast it out, and I'm actually going to be letting it drop and then just rip it up. Let it drop, rip it. And that thing is going to create a reaction strike, meaning those fish are going to sit there and if they're sluggish or active, as soon as that thing starts going up, and it drops, so just hit it yep. for you know pure reaction of the vibration and flash. So those are two different opposite techniques, but they will work this time of the year. 
uh, for pickerel bass, etc. But I like to use them a lot for pickerel actually. I don't see a lot of people doing it and it's really effective. The other thing, just like you said, same thing that applies for any type of fish of some of the years, smaller presentations. And then with these micro finesse jigs, they're really small finesse styles. And I've actually been using them a lot this summer of the year. Whenever I'm out on the creek and I'm like not getting any bites and I'm pretty sure that there's some fish around there either because I'm seeing them on my sonar or it just looks fishy. And what I'll do is I'll actually just throw them out and reel them, just reel them back. Nice and steady, play with the speed again, but I'll actually slow down a lot and You'll get fish, it might not be the biggest, but hey, guess what? You are catching fish. Uh, you're not skunking out out there and you're getting some fish. The other thing I found out with these things, I think you were the first one to tell me, you can actually like just kind of pop them as you reel and they'll dart mm -hmm. like side to side, creating like a darting uh, action on all of these baits with the uh, round head here or what's a mushroom head yeah yeah and they actually produce a really good uh movement on the water and what i like to do is i like to do that and then just let it drop to the bottom a lot of times i let it drop and once it hits the bottom boom yep whatever was chasing it or something that was following it it will, it will go down and actually pick it up and uh produce fish that way so work it like you know go more finesse style uh meaning downsize go a little aggressive with vibration or slow it down yeah. and it will work pretty good. I know we have one thing here that we forgot to mention, but the little feather jigs. I know you love yeah. those things. I talk about these all the time. We've gotten a ton of crappie guys coming in this past like week or two, um, starting to do really good in your typical crappie spots. So I just figured I'd throw this in. It's just a 30 seconds feather jig. I like to fish under a bobber. You guys have probably heard me talk about it a hundred times, um, but it's super, super effective this time of year. Pink does happen to be my favorite color also. Um, but yeah, just super, super productive, just underneath the bobber, about yeah. a foot, two feet. Kind and that's of one that. of those things that I, I use a lot too. Mm -hmm. And primarily on like uh, those mill ponds on the Eastern shore. Uh, I mean, it's kind of like your last resort thing catching panfish, but surprisingly, mm -hmm. a lot of pickerel will hit those yeah, things. Yeah, they'll pickerel bass, yeah, yeah. especially this time of year. Yeah. Uh, when, you know, you're, it's nice and cold and they love those things. So try those out. And I think that's all we got for you guys this week. Uh, Tune in into next week's episode and uh, we'll go over some more stuff for you guys and you guys have a good one.